Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our second keynote address. The lady is going to be talking about manifesting self-affirming professionals to strengthen organizations' success. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ms. Pooja Pata, co-founder and director, Media Mantra Communications and Consulting. Good afternoon. So I think uh, this is a topic that I really resonate with and it gives me immense pleasure and privilege to be a part of today's keynote. While I'm addressing this, I feel it is first of all important to acknowledge the resilience with which the PR industry has bounced back. And in 2023, we are even set to create a further disruption. And the years to come, we are all set to create a further, pave a further path which is full of disruption and full of creativity. The young and the vibrant talent of the communication industry have adapted to the new trends like never before. And in this diversification and innovation that they bring along, I think they have completely, they are creating the new and the emerging content in the PR industry. Today at 40 Under 40, we celebrate the emerging and the powerful leaders of tomorrow. As we celebrate their win, we also put them in a, power of, in a position of power in which we are also leading and affirming that we take the industry to the next height by only creating positive mindsets and positive frame of mind. As we create this positive frame of mind, it will be a delight to see the millennials kind of blend the text of their life to the context of the PR ideology. And when you blend the text and the context, we lead to a life which has dedicated purpose. It leads to a life which will have stronger organization vision boards. It will lead to overall success of the organization. The millennials must be thinking, why this topic? But I say, this is the topic that needs to be prioritized today. Because we are in an era where more than physical ailments, we deal with mental breakthroughs. More than physical problems, we deal with emotional stress. And this is the reason why this topic becomes so much relevant. The millennials have a huge responsibility to ensure that such conversations stay relevant and they should be discussed on and off. I will also be talking about uh, one verse from Bhagavad Gita which says, in order to change your life, you have to change the perspective of your life. And therefore, it is very important that sometimes we have to view success from a different lens. We have to view success from a different perspective altogether. While we are even talking about mindfulness, we even sometimes wonder that why is it that we even need to be mindful? And what are some of the misconceptions even related to being mindful? So first of all, people who think that uh, we should practice mindfulness will come with the things like, uh, oh my god, the person will have to leave the family. The person will have to leave his job. The person might have to even uh, probably, you know, be only found meditating. But there are different myths related to mindfulness. People even feel that uh, the person might have to leave alcohol. The person might have, the person can, cannot abuse anymore. But this is not how we relate mindfulness with. Mindfulness is something which only and only resonates when you are, despite of being successful, in spite of having a great bank balance, in spite of being a perfect parent, a father, a son, you still feel that there's something incomplete in my life. And that is the real way to start becoming mindful. And once you become mindful, it also helps you achieve your purpose of life. Apart from what we are as professionals, we also have to seek our purpose of life. Our purpose of life, once we resonate with, we are able to achieve better competency. 
we are able to align ourselves and our life's purpose in a much more aligned manner. I have a few recommendations today as I stand here and I feel that today I should be able to at least give some takeaways for everyone who's right now here and probably watching this. Uh, my theory is called ASK, which is AAASK. And these are recommendations on how you can become mindful. The first is the person should be able to uh, associate with any holistic activities. So that means you can practice uh, uh, mindfulness by meditating, by undertaking yoga, tai chi, different ways and avenues that you can relate with and resonate with is what you should practice. The second is you have to alter certain habits. How we perceive things and how we form habits is something that we kind of are ingrained from our childhood. But what no longer serves us is what we should completely discard and kind of cultivate new habits. And there's no age to cultivating habits. You can create your own habits and it takes a process of 21 to about 90 days to make one good habit. So whenever you're able, you feel that there's a habit change that is required, it's not such a big thing. And neither we are in that age or stage that we can't make new changes in our life. So alter habits whenever you feel that there, there is something that you feel is incomplete in my life. Another A is ask and self-talk. More than spending time with ourselves, we love spending time with others. And therefore, we know so much about others and very less about ourselves. Therefore, it is important to accept ourselves and look into some self-talk. And it is a great idea, even if you get to know something, you discover something new about yourself, it's a fantastic phenomena and it will work brilliantly for everyone. The next is uh, stillness. Stillness is a good option. We love schedules, we love plans, and sometimes when we don't have plans and we go on Instagram and feel that everybody else has plans, we kind of get FOMO. But that's not the way because sometimes no plan is the best plan. So create that stillness for yourself. Create that time for yourself where you're not doing anything and still you're doing a lot of things for yourself. And the last is K, which is keep your thoughts filtered, but prioritize what you are thinking. When we are sitting still, and when we have a lot of thoughts running in our mind, we don't know how to prioritize. Our mind just keeps on having multiple things and multiple visions at one point in time. Therefore, it is important to think either you run the day or the day runs you. It is for you to decide what is it that you would like to do. These are some suggestions and recommendations, and the reason I'm saying that is because I believe in the power of this. Having said that, I personally want to make a disclaimer by saying that as an agency or as a co-founder of the agency, in no means am I saying that we will not be aggressive and we will only be mindful, but I feel be, we can be mindfully aggressive. We can be uh, in a state where everybody can have a different mindfulness and mindfulness is not just with what you are thinking, it is what you are eating, what you're consuming, everything is about being mindful. And once you kind of uh, look into anchoring your life, you feel that the energy systems are completely changing, the vision boards for yourself and the people around you are definitely changing and that is why it is important to practice this. Once again, I'm saying you have to leave nothing in order to be mindful, but it definitely helps you develop a great curriculum for your life. It helps you develop very relevant and very solution-oriented frame of mind, which is very important and, and, and self-affirming. Therefore, at the, uh, while I would want to say a lot of things, but uh, um, I would just want to say that knowing Others is wisdom, but knowing yourself is enlightenment is an affirmation I want to bring it today and also hoping that uh, if we all cross paths again, discussing about each other's journey will be very interesting because this is a journey that will resonate with everyone and this is a journey that we all think that we will eventually come on. 
at different ages, at different stages of our life, but this is a journey that everyone has to come on. And it will be great as professionals, we are able to build that into our life. And the early on that we build into our life, it will be great to have an ecosystem. And the mindful millennials of the communication industry have a lot to do on their shoulder. Apart from being fantastic professionals, I feel that this is a generation that has the power and the potential to really break stereotypes and uphold uh, for many good reasons. This is a generation that has also taught us how to keep going and bouncing back with a lot of rigor all the time. Whenever we feel that there's failure, this is a generation I definitely look up to. And at the end, I would just want to say something that what you are not changing, you are choosing. Therefore, change what you choose and choose what you want to change. Keep your soul charged. Thank you so much. Thank you for the lovely session. We'd uh, love to commemorate this moment and present a small token of appreciation. And in order to do so, please welcome Ms. Shipra Biswas, Senior Events Executive, E4M. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much.